Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do split screen on your Chromebook. This is by far the easiest method. All we have to do is make sure you have Windows open. I have, for example, I have Chrome browser, I have YouTube, I have photos, backgrounds. Next, we're going to press Alt plus Tab. And then we're going to find which window we want to do this method with. Uh, let's say I want to do Chrome browser. And now that we have it open, we're going to press Alt and then we're going to press left or right parentheses. Those buttons will be next to your P button. And if we want to put it on the left side, we're going to put left side parentheses, open parentheses. Or if we want to do right side, we're going to do right parentheses or closing parentheses as they called. So let's say, for example, I want this on the left side. Now we're going to do Alt plus Tab again. And then we're going to find the next window we want. Let's say, for example, I want YouTube. And now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to press Alt plus the opposite of what we did. So for this, it's going to be right or closing parentheses. And there we go. Now we have split screen on the Chromebook. And now, for example, let's say we want to watch a video. Let's do one of my videos. I don't want to get copyrighted. And right now I can watch the YouTube video. And on this side, I can browse. Um, I can just browse the browser look for something else or I can all for example let's say I want to do homework or something like that I can just type in on this and um, you know I can do my homework on this side and on this side I can watch YouTube also I can have for example Netflix open or photos or whatever I desire I can have on this side this is by far the easiest method it just takes a couple press of the button now if you want to exit this uh, split screen all you have to do is minimize so we're going to minimize both and then we're just going to open them, double click and then double click again and there we are. We are out of it and you're going to do the same thing with the other browser and again if you want to go back you press Alt plus closing parentheses or open parentheses and it's so very simple it takes a couple seconds to do and once you do it you become a pro. You get used to it. So if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.